Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, welcome back to Facebook Live. Welcome, welcome. With Chris and Shane. I'm Chris. I'm Shane. And uh, if it's your first time joining us, thank you. Um, if, if you're returning, awesome. We're glad to be growing an audience in our third edition here of Facebook Live. This is going to be 9.30 a.m., the third Monday of every month. Uh, this is a very special Monday, though. Very, this very is Marathon special. Monday. Marathon Boston Monday. Marathon Monday. Shout out to all of our marathoners out there uh, from Orlando. Should be a very interesting one. It is. Uh, um, so the weather is uh, turning out not to be so nice to them, but uh, in past years it's been pretty pretty toasty during the race. So whether or not you like heat versus cold. Cold and wet. Cold so and that'll wet. Be, yeah. Yeah, but and windy. With, uh, don't, don't forget the wind. Yeah, after a couple hot years, it'll be very interesting to, uh, to get some feedback. So, hey, all you Boston runners, if any of you are watching, well, you're not. You're at the start line. But if you watch this later today, come and, and tell us about your experience. We look forward to hearing from you. A couple other quick shout-outs, and, and then we'll get into our product stuff for the day. Um, I do want to give a shout-out. She just stepped away from us. Usually behind the camera here is Natalie Casey. Did her half Ironman, uh, not Huge. yesterday, but the Sunday awesome. before that. So major kudos to her, um, our VP of Communications. Also my godmother, and we love her, and we're super proud of her. Uh, we are also super proud of everyone in Orlando who turned out corporate 5K. Crushed it. I'm proud of this guy. Shane, Shane crushed it. First 5K in a while. Ran a great time. Our track Fun check team. Out there, yeah, man. Sure. You did amazing. I think you ran a minute faster than you expected to. Helped bring it home for our track check retail team. So we took first. I'm claiming we, even though my points didn't count. I ran. You know, you tried. I was part of the team. I coordinated these guys, and, and they, they had an amazing performance. But the really amazing performances came from the community, almost 17,000 of us flooding the streets of downtown. It's always such a great event. Um, we want to especially thank Insurance Office of America. Um, Chris Heath, I like the shout out when a newsman tells us it's a quality broadcast. That's, that's awesome. Thank you, sir. Um, but yeah, 17,000 uh, out there in Insurance Office of America, our title sponsor, raised a ton of money, as well as helping with some meals for the Second Harvest Food Bank, Green Spoon Martyr, a uh, law firm, another huge sponsor, and then one that ties directly to the store is Brooks. Um, Brooks running, if you bought a pair of their shoes in the past couple of months, you're probably given a little slip to fill out for a 10 meal donation. Um, so over 10,000 meals total uh, donated by Brooks um, to coincide with shoe purchases leading up to the race. Yeah, our biggest. Filled up our entire front wall. our whole wall. Yeah, we've got some really cool pictures of that. I know we've been updating on social media. Um, but yeah, just great turnout from all the participants, all the sponsors, and yeah, we look forward to that one every single year. Um, so, Chris, what we got? What's on the docket for today? What uh, what, what main products are we gonna try to hit? We got three, I think, lined up here today, Shane. We've got 361. We're gonna talk some some new footwear, brand new shoe company, yes, newest line on our wall. We're gonna keep it local uh, with some corksicle. And then we're going to end with uh, what we are super, super pumped about, and that's Lululemon. We're super pumped about all of these Absolutely. things. Big part of um, this. But the, the Lululemon being our, our kind of biggest and newest sponsorship that's now official, just like the 361. The product has come in, so let's yeah. kick it off. Yeah, with so let's jump right into it. Um, so the first shoe from 361s from Meraki. Um, it's one of their neutral, high cushion shoes. Um, you know, pretty, pretty similar to a lot of the other brands that we carry. So, you know, if you want to try it out, don't be afraid by a brand new shoe. I think is a good, uh, if you like a shoe that's got a, a kind of a cushy ride, but also that's not too bulky, that's not going to be too heavy. Um, this 361 is something, uh, the Meraki, you know, in particular, it, it's competing right up there with some of our best selling neutral Absolutely. shoes. Kind of some of those staple shoes that people know and love. You bring this guy into the mix and, and it's, uh, you know, it's causing some competition and, and having people try something new, yeah. which is always cool. Um, very similar to that Meraki. We've got the sensation right here. So that Meraki, or are hiding behind the cork cycles here. Um, the Meraki is your neutral shoe. Sensation here is stability, and it's kind of hard to see, but if you look, there's sort of some speckles in the middle there on the inside. If you look at both shoes on the outside, you'll actually notice, grab that other one, Shane, that, the men's, uh, grab that Meraki. Oh. You look at, at this outside edge, and you'll see um, that they are exactly the same. Um, oh, well, you had a red first time. I'm the idiot right. um, <laughs> But, yeah, the, the cushion patterns, everything lines up. You flip to the inside, and someone who's got a little bit more of a falling, a collapsing arch, is going to do better. 
um, in the sensation here. So that's something to cover kind of both foot types and then staying in that stability category. A little bit more um, stable, a little yeah. more cushion, uh, the sensation. I mean, the strata, strata. sorry. Um, it's going to have that same, you know, speckled pattern on the inside. It's going to tell you it has that stability aspect to it, but it also has a carbon fiber kind of plate in the bottom. It's going to keep it really nice and rigid through the midfoot, which is what we like in a lot of shoes. But it has a lot of cushion in it as it well. Does. It's got that quick foam cushioning, and that is kind of the signature cushion product of the 361 brand. Um, but you'll see more quick foam in this Strata. So as with all kind of high cushion shoes, you'll see the price tag run up a little bit, but you'll feel a lot more padding. That's for those of you that want to run on marshmallows. You have some pronation control needs, um, but really want a super soft ride in your shoe. Uh, check out that Strata for sure. Absolutely. And, and that's 361 in a nutshell. Um, I don't make any promises. I will say that we're a big fan of 361 who actually made some visits to our store uh, with our rep, uh, Lee, because they're good friends. So a long time Orlando residents will know this. Bo Outlaw uh, is a man who loves some 361. And uh, stay tuned because it wouldn't surprise me if we tied something in where we had, had a little 361 um, in Bo tie-in event here at the store. I have them pop by for a little visit. Um, speaking of local, we will talk about Cork Circle. Very local. Super local. Uh, Mills 50, they're our neighbors. All right, Cork Circle Productions right down the road from us here at Track Shack. Our two main contacts at, at Cork Circle that we talked to, my former childhood neighbor and a uh, girl I've known since high school. So that that is how local they truly are, and we figured let's combine two great local things. You got Cork Sickle, you got Track Shack, so for those of you who don't know, come check these out. For those of you who don't know the product, I use mine probably more than my little Yeti uh, Rambler. You know, top seal's on, which is great for running. It'll keep water cold overnight yeah. for me, cold through the course of a long run. And, you know, it's 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 a little bit of sleeper design. Some of those water bottles are there can get pretty bulky, um, but this is something that can fit in a cup holder in a car. Absolutely, like yeah. I think actually fits in most uh, bottle holders on a bike as well, which is nice. You want to keep that cool during those longer rides. Um, they're, like I said, not sure how many people know we have these, but we want to get the word out because we do love working yeah, with these we local got a little, companies. Uh, little deal going on right we now. We do have a little deal going on. They come in the store. What are they supposed to mention, Shane? Um, well, you're supposed to mention Facebook Live, but if you also just mentioned me, that's that's pretty cool too. Mention uh, Shane. Twenty percent off your corksicle purchase. You know, enjoy the bottles. You get a nice little discount. It's gonna keep your drinks cold. Shane asked for Shane's much more. being modest. In the rehearsal, he said to come in and mention his beautiful face. And I thought that's what we were going to stick with. I was going to make that a hard line. Shane's beautiful face, or you don't get the full 20%. That's you what you get with live. live you get a discount. Live, it's fluid. You know? That's true. That's true. I appreciate the modesty. But no, seriously, come on in. Mention this video. I'll get 20% off a of sickle. Support two, you know, local companies that, that really, you know, value that relationship and working together. Um, for those of us just joining us, I am Shane. And I'm Chris. Um, and let's uh, kind of transition into our an event that we're going to have every month. But um, we're introducing another product, Lululemon. Yes. Yeah. So we've got our partnership with Lululemon. They're going to be with us at the Star Wars Half Marathon Expo, as will uh, actually 361 and a handful of our other vendors. So uh, this week, you can find that stuff in our store. Lululemon, we're still waiting on our store order. We have the expo order. And we're going to show you some pieces from that here in a minute. Um, store order will be here, though, by the 23rd. Um, and the 23rd, like Shane said, kick off kind of launch event for carrying Lululemon in the store, but also kick off event for what will be a monthly in-store yoga class. That's going to be the fourth Monday of every month, 545. We're all about the Mondays here. Make sure you're actually happy. Yes. Got to call in the store, you know, mention the class. You can get signed up on the list, reserve your kind of spot. But even if you don't, you know, can't make it for the actual run run for yoga um, this this upcoming Monday. Yoga for runners. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's uh, we're going to have wine there from Quantum Leap. Yes. Um, they're partnering with us for this specific event. Yeah. Um, may not be happen every month, but um, come in, check it out, check out the products, drink some wine. There are seven spots left. We're, we're here in, uh, from Maria, another one of our people behind the camera here that help make this happen every month. So lots of stuff on Mondays. Uh, you sign up, like Shane said, the same way you would for a good form running class. On the store, good form running, we're doing uh, Mondays at 530, usually the first or second of every month. You get Shane and I the third yeah. Monday morning of every month, and now yoga. So 
The wine may hopefully not happen every month. Us. Yes, yeah. Hopefully you're not sick of us yet. There's plenty more to come. Uh, but the, the wine uh, from our neighbors, Quantum Leaf, definitely being donated this month. And if that's not monthly, the yoga for sure will be. Michaela is going to be our teacher. She's volunteered to keep coming back every month. So we're so excited to offer that uh, to our running community. But to have, you know, some products and a brand that really ties well into it. So a couple of our pieces right here. Again, this is part of our order coming out to the Star Wars Expo. So come see us out there, especially if you're running that app. Come see some of the other stuff we have, like 361 there as well. Um, but you will see some of these pieces, you know, um, that we have after the expo come back into the store as well as some really running specific products and we're excited when we get those to show them to you um obviously lululemon's known for their yoga but their running line is fantastic too um and, and that's what we are going to carry the deepest of and um you know we're excited to, to show people something new that we think they'll really like but you know, the classic tights right here the staple high quality really running clothes for, for lululemon there yeah absolutely and just super, super excited to be, be starting that partnership off and, and starting off the monthly yoga with them. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's it. I think we've kind of at least on touched on everything we want to hit on. Um, do we have any sort of questions in the works, anything like that? Um, I don't know what's like, guys. Who's uh, Christine? Christine says hi. Oh, hey. Well, hi to you, too. <laughs> um, let me just say that. more. I think so. Yes. What um is there? Run, what's the difference between the running and yoga trail? Is it just well, the, the type of product? yeah? I mean, you're gonna see when you look at that's a good question from Maria. So difference between Lululemon yoga and running product. I think you're gonna see you know obviously more shorts when you're dealing with running. Not that we won't still have tights and lots of women like to run in tights, but you're gonna see lighter weight kind of looser fitting clothes because that's what's more comfortable as a runner don't uh, um, restrict that range of motion exactly exactly and especially in their shorts i think a lot of people are familiar with kind of the everyday shorts or their two-in-ones but there really are lighter weight um performance run shorts um that just they feel they're soft they feel really good they're super lightweight um and, and like i said just come on by the 23rd come check out what we have to offer from them and, and i think even those of you who know them as a lifestyle brand, as a yoga brand, might really, um, you know, kind of become uh, Lululemon wearers for, for running as well. We might convert you over to that. Yeah. Cool. And and don't forget about uh, 361. Come in store, try them out. Another don't new be brand. afraid of a new shoe. Absolutely. They've been coming, you know, knocking on our door for a couple of years. And, and like any product, you know, Hoka, who everyone I think is familiar now with and running, uh, we like to see brands establish themselves. We like to test the product ourselves, and when it's of a quality we believe in, it makes its way onto our wall, and that's where we're at with 361. We absolutely believe in the brand, and so if you see something a little funky, don't be afraid to try it out. Absolutely. Um, but I think that's all we kind of have for you guys today. Well, thanks for joining us. We will be absolutely. back uh, the third Monday of next month. You guys have a great day. Chris Come and Shane, us. signing yep. out. That's pretty good. Right. Yeah. We're getting better at this one. So, so. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Uh, welcome back to Facebook Live. Welcome, welcome. With Chris and Shane. I'm Chris. I'm Shane. And uh, if this is your first time joining us, thank you. Um, if, if you're returning, awesome. We're glad to be growing an audience in our third edition here of Facebook Live. This is going to be 9.30 a.m., the third Monday of every month. Uh, this is a very special Monday, though. Very, this is very Marathon much. Monday, marathon Boston Monday. Marathon Monday. Shout out to all of our marathoners out there uh, from Orlando. Should be a very interesting one. It is. Uh, so the weather is uh, turning out not to be so nice to them, but uh, in past years it's been pretty pretty toasty during the race. So whether or not you like heat versus cold. Cold and wet. Cold so and wet. That'll be, yeah. yeah but and windy. The, don't, don't forget the wind. Yeah, after a couple hot years, it'll be very interesting to uh, to get some feedback. So, hey, all you Boston runners, if any of you are watching, well, you're not. You're at the start line. But if you watch this later today, come and, and tell us about your experience. We look forward to hearing from you. A couple other quick shout-outs, and, and then we'll get into our product stuff for the day. Um, I do want to give a shout-out. She just stepped away from us. Usually behind the camera here is Natalie Casey. Did her half Ironman, uh, not Dude. yesterday, but the Sunday awesome. before that. So major kudos to her, um, our VP of communications, also my godmother. And we love her, and we're super proud of her. 